I was taking my usual walk in the morning, walking my dog, and uh, I was attacked. I say, I just want my dog. That's all I want. I'm not trying to try cause no conflict or nothing with you. I just want my dog. Two women in a dispute over a dog they both claim is theirs. The only problem is one has documents proving it, the other doesn't. It's a story we told you about yesterday. WDSU's Casey Friend is here now with how this confusion led to a brawl. Well, Adriana, this is a look at the dog at the center of the dispute. One woman calls him Titus, the other calls him Big Head. Kawana Lawrence says when she tried to show her neighbor Julie Butera proof that the dog was hers, things got physical. Yeah, she, she scalded me right here. She scalded me on my arm. I have sprains and pulls in my neck. A disagreement between two women over a dog they both say is theirs. I'm the victim of this. I was attacked. She came after me from across the street. I say, ma'am, I'm not trying to do you nothing. I say, I'm trying to show you a picture of the dog stating, you know, that's my dog. You know, he came up missing. Here's a picture of Titus, as Julie Butera calls him, and here's Big Head, named by Coenna Lawrence's son. Lawrence says an officer gave her this dog last January after he found it wandering in Central City. She says it went missing in June, and then in September, her son saw Butera walking the dog near their home in Gentilly. He was like, well, let's go down there. She kept saying, my, let's go down. I said, no, you don't approach nobody like that. We're going to wait till she come back. Every morning, the same time, no one has ever said, that's my dog. Uh, or question me about the dog. But when Lawrence did try to question her, I told her to stay away from my dog because I didn't know if the dog was going, if my dog was going to attack. Lawrence says she tried to call police when she realized Butera was not giving the dog back to her. But she realized that I was really on the phone with the police. It's like she just went crazy to try to walk away. So I grabbed the dog and I'm at the same time I'm on the phone with the police telling the police hurry up and send somebody. She's trying to leave with the dog. Butera says when she found the dog, it appeared to have been used in dog fighting. So she got it registered and vaccinated. That's the first thing I did. I didn't want to be fined. Um, I'm an advocate for animals. And Lawrence says she never took the dog to the vet out of fear she'd be accused of fighting the pit bull. Now she regrets that decision. A lot of trouble. Then I would be right about now. I would have my dog. Now, the Humane Society says dog owners should file a missing dog report with police if their dog goes missing and also have proper identification and documents on their dogs to avoid any of this confusion. Now, the local director also says uh, you might want to keep vaccination records on hand to consider also tattooing your animal. Adriana.